I'm Alan Metzger, the state coordinator in Illinois for environmental progress. And environmental progress is about a year and a half old environmental pro-nuclear organization, the research and policy organization fighting for clean power and energy justice to achieve nature and prosperity for all. So we, uh, we come up against uh, CR clubs and NRDCs of the world all the time. And our mantra is to uh, defend, deploy, demonstrate, and develop. In defending some of the things we've done, we've had the on the street 1960s style protests or demonstrations or whatever you want to call them. These are pictures from uh, Chicago where we were working to save a couple of Illinois nuclear plants from closing. We brought it to the Environmental Law Policy Center. Fairly anti-nuclear. Um, we're right outside their office uh, camping out and making sure that they know. Um, in California, we took it to the Sierra Club and some other folks in their offices. Um, uh, on a march, so, uh, so we've, we've tried to publicize, you know, environmentalism really means you have to look at all the science, all the tools, and use the ones that are appropriate, and nuclear energy certainly was one of those. A subset of the states that we've worked in, Illinois, of course, California, really, of course, <laughs> that's where EP is, uh, is, uh, is located, and I, I should mention that Michael Schellenberger, as John mentioned, is the uh, president and founder of environmental progress. So we're still a pretty small organization, but we've had presence in all of these states and we've worked upstate New York plants from closing some legislation that passed last year. Um, and then Ohio, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, Massachusetts are things that are in the news right now. We've also uh, sent letters, uh, open letters, had people like Jim Hansen sign them uh, to the president of uh, South Korea. Uh, to uh, President of France, the new President of France, and then Germany as well, encouraging them to not uh, go forward with plans to, to eliminate or, or, or curtail nuclear energy in those countries. I mean, the things that we're fighting for, the things that we're talking about are light water reactors. They got designed, you know, 50, 60 years ago. All the problems that we always talk about in every TIAC conference, all these atmospheres of pressure that we have to that we have to contain in uh, containment buildings that are expensive and, and, and all of these things. We really feel, at Environmental Progress, we really feel it's, it's, it's completely important for us to be um, protecting and encouraging current nuclear technologies that are you know, deployable today and do, do what we can to support those. And the reason for that, we need shoulders to stand on. Next generation technology really depends a lot on existing industries, the supply chains, the uh, people that work on these things, we, you know, we want people to get you know, nuclear, uh, nuclear science degrees, and uh, if there's no uh, place for those people to go um, when, they, when they graduate, or if there's fewer places for, their to, for, for them to go, then they won't, uh, they won't pursue those, and, and we won't have the staff that we need to design, build, and operate the new generation of plants. So this is really key to our crowd here, and uh, even though we kind of, again, we're focusing on, on, uh, on existing technologies mostly, uh, but, um, but we support it all. From a deployment perspective, the website has a lot of information, environmentalprogress.org. We have uh, been publishing uh, findings about the, uh, the summer uh, build shutdown, uh, the VC summer shutdown, uh, where they were building two AP1000s, and now they put that on, on, on temporary perhaps permanent hold, we'll see. Um, uh, and in addition to the, uh, the two plants at Vogel that are uh, not currently at uh, critical risk, but are still at risk uh, for, for being halted. So we're, we're doing research and, and, uh, and publishing information about that. Then of course, demonstration. This is an MSRE, the only demonstration next gen reactor I could find a picture of. So, so here it is. It's not actually new, but, uh, but we, we really need to do that. Um, and then, of course, develop. So we don't spend a lot of time uh, talking to or about these companies. We hope that the work that we do will enable the next generation to flourish and uh, bring the world the things that uh, nuclear energy can bring it. Environmentalprogress.org is our website. Please go there. Uh, consider supporting us financially as well. And uh, take a look at all the material that's there. Thanks. Thank you, Alan. Thank you so much.